What if your greatest gift came from your sickbed? Carl Gustav Jacobi was born in 1804 in Potsdam, Prussia, a boy with brilliant eyes and an unmatched hunger for numbers. By age 12, he was teaching himself calculus for fun. He devoured books by Euler and Lagrange like novels. At 16, he entered the University of Berlin, not to learn, but to challenge it. He soon became a professor at just 24. Jacobi dove into elliptic functions, mysterious, elegant, powerful. He found deep connections between functions, algebra, and geometry. His work helped birth a new field, modern algebraic geometry. But Jacobi didn't stop there. He pushed boundaries in mechanics and physics, too. His Hamilton-Jacobi theory laid the groundwork for classical mechanics. It later became a key part of quantum mechanics, decades after his death. Jacobi believed math wasn't just useful, it was beautiful. He once said, mathematics should be studied for its own sake, but even brilliance has limits. His health began to fail. While recovering from illness, he wrote one of his greatest papers, From Bed. He worked tirelessly, even when doctors told him to stop. He wrote over 200 papers, each full of elegance, insight, and bold ideas, and he inspired future giants, like Weierstrass and Lee. In 1851, Jacobi passed away at only 46, but his theorems, matrices, and methods still guide science today. Carl Gustav Jacobi, the mathematician who brought beauty to the laws of nature.